John Morant went to the arena early to get some shots up prior to his second round game, which is going to be against the Florida State Seminoles. John Morant and the Murray State Racers barely escaped their first round matchup, but they did upset the Texas Tech Red Raiders, and they sent them and Jarrett Culver home. John Morant wants to lead this team to the national championship for the first time in school history. John Moran knows the odds are against him, but he won't go down without a fight. He's going to put his all on that court, hoping to advance to the Sweet 16. But let's see what happens in this second round matchup against the Florida State Seminoles. Here's what the Florida State Seminoles roster is looking like. They got Trent Forrest at the top. Phil Kofer, Terrence Mann, they got the 7-4 dude, Chris, Kevin Gelly, David Nichols, MJ Walker, and that's about it for this Florida State Seminoles team, but don't sleep on them. Their roster might not show it, but this team could make some noise. But before we hop into this second round matchup against the Florida State Seminoles, I just want to say, guys, leave a thumbs up if you end up enjoying the video. Also, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on video notifications. This is going to be a good series, and you don't want to miss out on any episodes. And guys, I just finished doing a giveaway on my Twitter, and you guys didn't know about it because you want to follow me there. Follow me on Twitter at TheSlimMom, but also turn on tweet notifications so I don't miss out on any future giveaways. Also, Instagram at TheSlimMom is the same thing follow turn on notifications and you won't miss out on any giveaways but here we go can john morant lead this racers team to the sweet 16 first they're gonna have to get past the florida state seminoles let's see what happens Here we go, man. John does not want the road to end here. He wants to go further in the tournament, but let's see what the Seminoles team has in store for us. All right, let's run this play. Buchanan almost got open. I'm moving over here. John the corner, he's pump faking, crosses baseline, got the ankle breaker. Now Smith has to come to the paint and he has the layup. What a play from Ja. Nichols forces on, okay, he didn't force. That's Hall of Fame for you. All right, we should get a quick three here from Tevin Brown. Can he get open? Okay, that wasn't really the best play. Covert's going to send me the screen now. Covert is rolling. Sees Tevin Brown open for three. Good execution right there. Nichols to Kumadier. Good help from Ja. Kumadier is just too big. You can't guard him. What a move by Ja. Sees Smith open in the paint. Ja brings all the defenders to him, and he finds the open man. Three seconds, good defense on Kofer. Kofer has to force over Tevin Brown. Ja is there for the board. Kofer grabs it. And we're on the break now. We see Shaq Buchanan spotting up. One more to Ja. Ja deep in the paint. He is not going to miss that one. He did miss it though. We see Tevin Brown on the weak side. Mid-range shot. Good shot, Tevin. Oh, and guys, by the way, some changes from the previous episode. I set the quarter length to seven minutes. Previously, it was on ten minutes because in total it will be 40 minutes, which is the actual length of a college game but this time seven minutes so the final score is more realistic of a college game smith on the roll smith with another layup all right jaw checks out down to back in we end up having a one point lead good job jaw left open for three he greens that one bang jaw is finally on the board for points looks like once again we got majority murray state racers fans in the audience supporting jaw in his journey Ja with the cross. Ja spins it to the paint. What a layup by Ja Morant. The steal by Tevin Brown. Ja is on the break. Ja is going to Euro right past him and finish the layup heavily contested. Doesn't matter. Ja intercepts that pass. He read that. And he's taking it all the way. All right, Ja has takeover. Tevin Brown's going to send me the pick. Ja takes it all the way past Kumadier. Push it through. And, and guys, that's one of the more basic. All right, start of the second half. We are still up one. Let's run this play to perfection. Good play. Cohort with the layup. All right, Josh subs out once again. Down one. Back in. Up by five. Just over eight minutes left in this game. 
Ja on the cut. Ja has the layup. Good pass on the cut. Ja the cross to the right. Ankle breaker. Ja all the way. What a move by Ja. Ja tries to make a move. Ja. Strong take. You take that. Kumadye. Yeah, not the smartest take by Ja. Good defense on Kumadye. Kumadye just won't miss that. Ja, what a spin move. Oh, he's about to pack that down. But Kumadye got the block. That would have been something right there. I am going under. Ja, good defense on Nichols. Watch the cutter. MJ Walker in the corner. Okay, MJ Walker forces in the corner. He didn't force and he ties the game up with six minutes left. Good strip. Tevin Brown strips him. Tevin Brown, take it all the way. Gives us the two-point lead. Nichols on the drive. Good defense by Ja. And Ja, oh, mistimed his jump, but we still get the board. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Ja has the lane somewhat all the way in. Oh, ho. Kofor fades away. I don't think that's the shot. And we get the board. Is anybody spotting up? No, I don't see nobody. Ja, behind the back. Spin. Covert. Can you go up on Kumadye? Okay, okay. Smart, 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 smart. You don't want to go up on that, man. But Covert, what I want you to do is send me the screen. That's a good screen. Covert rolling. And we get fouled. Good screen for Ja. Ja, open for three. Ja, in and out. Oh, no. Can Buchanan get open? Nope. Covert's going to send me the screen. Anthony Smith on the cut. Anthony Smith in the paint. Good finish, baby. Nichols is tired. He's fatigued. Let's see what he can do on this possession. Three seconds. Ja, good defense. Nichols has the force. He gives it to Kofer. Kofer. Whoa, he drills that. He ties the game up. Three seconds. Trent Forrest on the take. Is that a force? Yes. Misses. Let's go. Let's take the lead on this possession. Let's take the lead on this possession. Tevin Brown, we got to run a play, bro. Offensive three. Oh, boy. Jogger defense, yup. Oh, he makes the contested layup. Hall of Fame is going to do that. We're playing from behind now. Can Buchanan get open? Send him some good screens. The screens aren't the best. Tevin Brown off this screen. No. Ja Moran off that screen. No. Ja Moran off these screens. Yes. Ja lightly contested. Doesn't hit the three. Nichols is tired. Go block. Can Ja get that board? No. Two seconds. That's a force by Forrest. We can't get the board. Kumadye just always in the defensive rebound area. Nichols tired. Mid range. Good. Ja has to get a quick bucket. Euros into the lane. Finishes. Let's go, Ja. He is struggling this game. Not going to lie, but he won't give up. He will stay confident. Kofer isolated on the right side. Tevin Brown, come on. You're a decent defender. Yup. Yup. Let's get a stop here. Cabin Gelly. The Kumaje. The Trent Forrest. Trent Forrest going to use the screen. Good defense. Good defense. I'm there too. Get the board. Ja grabs that rebound. Ja behind the back dribble. Spins. One more. Ja is exhausted. Ja Morant is exhausted. The screen by Smith. Not there. The ball gets knocked out of Ja's hands. Ja has to heave from half court. And he airballs. He's so exhausted. Good defense to strip. Covert. Find Ja. Ja on the break. This man has locked down takeover. It doesn't matter. Ja lays it up and ties the game. No doubt. You love seeing him knock down the clutch. All right, 30 seconds left. We need a stop and a bucket. Kofer with the ball. Kofer struggling with it. Kevin Gelly outside. Okay, Nichols exhausted. Trent Forrest in the corner. Watch the screen. Back to Nichols. Nichols is going to set a pick. Oh, I'm going over. I'm going over. Good defense. Two. Nichols, I'm there. Grab the board. We don't need a timeout. John Morant down the court. What a finish, Ja Morant gives the racers the lead with 0.4 seconds remaining. Now from boy, he is fast. Guys, your thoughts? And the only chance here. Let's go, 0.4 seconds. 
They can get a quick jumper off, I'm pretty sure. They're struggling with the inbound. No way. Oh my gosh, John Morant and the Murray State Racers are moving on to the Sweet 16. On fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to see it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. John Morant struggled throughout the whole game. 23 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal and 1 block shot. 10 for 23 from the field. But he did make some of the biggest baskets of his career thus far. Keeping his team alive in this NCAA tournament. Kofor at 13, Terrence Mann 13, MJ Walker with 12, David Nichols with 10, Kumadie had 10 and 8 boards, 4 blocks as the Murray State Racers sent Florida State home. And guys, it's gonna do it for this second episode of this John Morant, my career. Guys, I put out a tweet on my Twitter, and I want you guys to tag John Morant in that tweet. I want John Morant to notice this series, guys. For those of you that do tag him in the tweet, I'll be following some of you back, so be sure to go do that. Maybe a shout out will be given as well, who knows, but guys, please go do that. That would be greatly appreciated, and hopefully you enjoyed this second episode of the series. Racers on a Cinderella run to the Sweet 16. Two straight upsets. Who were they facing in the Sweet 16? Find out in the next episode. Remember guys, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time guys, I'm out.